Here is a map of the Earth. But where is the equator? Here? Here? How about here? If you said this one, you're a bit north. If you said here, you're a bit south. But if you said here, then we have a problem. In actuality, the equator is here. Surprised? Unlike the time zones or the prime meridian, which is the imaginary line at zero degrees longitude, the location of the equator, which as a reminder is here, isn't arbitrary. You can't just pick a line and say, here is the equator. In short, the equator is the halfway point between the two poles, and the circle on the plane perpendicular to the planet's rotation. This goes for Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and every celestial body out there. But let's say you had the foolish idea of wanting to follow the equator around the world. Instead of traveling the 40,007 kilometers that you would traveling once around the world passing through both poles, you would actually be traveling 40,075 kilometers, a whole 68 kilometers more. This is caused by the equatorial bulge. Not unlike how a pizza chef spinning a piece of dough expands it into a pizza ready layer of bread, the constant spinning of the earth along its axis creates a centrifugal force that pushes the center of the earth outwards. This also means that if you were to measure the point on earth that is furthest away from the center, the highest peak would belong to a mountain that most people don't even know exists, Mount Chimborazo in Ecuador instead of Mount Everest. But since we like to measure highest peak by height above sea level, and the sea level is also affected by centrifugal forces, Mount Everest takes the gold at Mount Chimborazo walks away with absolutely nothing. But going back to the idea of making a round trip about the equator, let's say you follow through with that plan. How would you know where to find the equator? Non-arbitrary units or places like Pi or the Eiffel Tower are typically unchanging. They're always equal to 3.14159 and etc or in Paris, France. But the non-arbitrary location of the equator isn't quite that simple, and hence not that easy to find. I mean, there are landmarks like these in Brazil and Indonesia, and you always have the access to GPS, but as you can probably guess, it isn't as simple as it may seem. For starters, these landmarks are almost 11,000 miles apart. And secondly, GPS is probably even worse. Picture the Earth as a spinning top, just as how the top's imperfections make it deviate from its rotational path and therefore change its axis rotation, Earth's axis rotation deviates as well. As the Earth wobbles on its axis, the location of the equator shifts along with it, making it deviate from its path up to almost 15 feet. Except unlike the top, these wobbles aren't caused by aerodynamic imperfections, but rather massive shifts in mass, not unlike how you can quickly throw yourself off balance by thrusting your arms out while spinning. For instance, the redistribution of water from the melting Greenland ice sheet and the subsequent rise of land that was once bound by that ice can cause wobbliness in the Earth's revolution, or to be fancy, isostatic rebound. Final interesting fact? Everything is not upside down on the other side of the equator, which is here, in case you didn't know by now. Tell us what you want to see next in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more science facts and updates. Yeah, beat drops, we on the flow. I'm a dance dance revolution, no. Gotta check these moves, check my loose stance. You and I gotta move to dance, yeah. Long night, better watch the police. They won't keep on a beat from the movie. One chance.